Yeah, in this industry, in this business, families are kind of forced to be apart a lot. So when they offered the part, it was kind of a no-brainer just... We know Lisa Bonet as the gorgeous actress who started her career as Denise Huxtable on the sitcom The Cosby Show. We also know her as a songwriter for Lenny Kravitz. But not many people know just how amazing her unique life is. You see, Lisa Bonet is not your typical actress. Despite her popularity, she remains a mystery to many. In this video, we're going to talk about some Lisa Bonet facts that are going to change the way you look at her. Early Life Lisa was born on November 16, 1967, in San Francisco, California. Her father, Alan, is African American, and her mother, Arlene, is Jewish. Both her parents have creative backgrounds in music. Her parents divorced when she was a baby, and her mother raised her as a single parent in Los Angeles. Bonet has shared that growing up biracial was challenging. She often felt out of place in both her mother's family and at school. Despite these challenges, she found comfort in the performing arts. People will always remember Lisa Bonet for her roles in popular TV shows, but she's very different in real life. Instead of city lights, she prefers the tranquility of the mountains. And guess what? She doesn't even have a TV. Bonet's always been her own person. She makes her own rules and follows them. Remember her unique hairstyle? That's just one example. She even writes lyrics for rock music. But there was a time when things weren't so easy for the actress. After her split from her husband, Lenny Kravitz, her acting career slowed down. But that's not all. During this time, Lisa Bonet made a big decision. Changing her name. You see, she changed her name to Lilacoy Moon. Why did she do that? Well, it seems like she wanted a fresh start after the split. Despite the new name, Lisa kept acting in movies and TV shows. And the thing is, since she was already so famous and a household name, the new name never really caught on like she may have expected. Lisa never explained why she picked the name Lila Koi Moon. However, she opened up about her feelings after her divorce from Lenny Kravitz. It was a tough time, but it also made her want to become stronger. She even mentioned family heirlooms, the things we learn from family that might not always be good. Changing her name might have been part of her journey to leave those things behind. Lisa said this challenging time helped her grow and become a more loving person. That's an excellent way to turn a difficult situation into something positive. We don't hear much about that name these days. But one thing's for sure, she's still Lisa Bonet in Hollywood. Bonet's love for unusual names didn't just stop there, no. She named her son Nakoa Wolf Manakawapo Namakeha Momoa. What does the name even mean? It means Stormy Warrior. We wonder if Nakoa Wolf will ever want to shorten that. Friendship with Marissa Tomei A lot of people may know Marissa Tomei as Aunt May, but Lisa knows her as her best friend. Remember Lisa Bonet's excellent roommate on A Different World? That was Marissa Tomei. They're still friends and their bond is so strong that Marissa is the godmother to all three of Lisa's kids. In a recent interview, Lisa admitted that Marisa got her hooked on finding treasures at flea markets. Lisa explained that she loves giving things a second chance. She finds it cool to discover something old and make it new again. Plus, learning about the history behind an item is awesome. This adds excitement to finding unique items and reflects Lisa's personality. Even though Marissa's character didn't stick around, their friendship did. Their on-screen college friendship became a real-life, lifelong bond. They even talk about personal things on public TV. During her conversation with Tomei for Interview Magazine, Bonet insisted she was still working to discover her authentic self. Interestingly, People Magazine pointed out that the conversation took place in late 2021, just before the announcement of her separation from Jason Momoa. Bonet referenced her changing circumstances when she responded to a question from Tomei. When Tomei asked, what's calling you? Bonet replied, definitely learning how to be authentically me, learning to be new and following this invitation from the universe to step into this river of uncertainty. In fact, Bonet appeared to be in a philosophical mode throughout the entire interview with Tomei. That was certainly the case when the two discussed their mutual interest in meditation, with Bonet once again indicating that her circumstances were far less solid than they had been. Bonet shared, The more still we are, the more the guidance comes through in these very uncertain times. It's the natural quest of life that everything wants to be free. During another recent interview, Marissa joked with Zoe, saying she's known her since she was a tiny baby. 
That's one fantastic friendship that's grown into a beautiful family connection. Lisa Bonet made sure amazing women surrounded her daughter, including Marissa Tomei. Zoe recently thanked Marissa for being such a big part of her support system while growing up. You're one of the incredible women my mom always had around me, Zoe told Marissa in an interview. Zoe feels grateful for her strong female role models, saying it helped her build excellent relationships. It's pretty cool how Lisa, Marissa, and Zoe have created this special family bond through friendship, her fitness journey. Here's a surprising thing. Even when Lisa Bonet is out of the spotlight, she's all about staying healthy. Over the years, she's talked about her love for fitness and healthy eating. Remember her chat with her best friend, Marisa Tomey? Lisa spilled the beans on her favorite breakfast. It sounds delicious and nutritious. She scrambles an egg in coconut oil, then adds some bone broth for an extra boost. To round things out, she enjoys sourdough bread with cultured butter. It sounds like a perfect way to start the day. Lisa focuses on natural, nutritious food that makes her feel great. Convenience isn't her priority. Instead, she carefully chooses foods packed with vitamins and minerals. Organic whole foods are a must-have in her kitchen. Whenever possible, she opts for fresh and unprocessed ingredients. It's no wonder Lisa looks and feels so energized. Interestingly, her ex-husband, Lenny Kravitz, shares this passion for healthy eating. Maybe it's something they bonded over even after their split. And when it comes to exercising, Lisa mixes things up. One day, she might be at a Pilates class. The next, she'll do Pilates exercises at home. The important thing is she finds ways to enjoy staying active. Pilates is a favorite because it helps her stay strong and flexible. Cardio is also vital to her overall health plan, and she doesn't skip out on it. But Lisa isn't stuck in a boring routine. Her secret weapon is African dance class. This high-energy workout is her current obsession, keeping her body toned and her mind happy. It's all about finding enjoyable workouts, and Lisa has mastered that. She builds strong muscles while improving her flexibility and posture. No wonder she looks so fit. Mountain living and her healthy lifestyle keep her feeling great and looking fantastic. So while all other celebrities get procedures after procedures to look young and fresh, Lisa looks this way all naturally. Mountain living. After her divorce from Lenny Kravitz, Lisa Bonet created a new chapter for herself and her daughter Zoe. They built a home in the mountains outside Los Angeles in Topanga, California. This mountain retreat is more than just an address for Lisa. It's her perfect sanctuary, she told Porter Magazine. Sure, some people might knock Southern California, but I love it here. You can build the life you want. In an interview, Bonet invited the interviewer to her home in the mountains. She explained that the mountainous area is just right for her. She loves Southern California because it allows her to create the life she wants. Lisa has found a place that reflects her unique spirit and love for nature. Because here's the thing, Bonet isn't your typical Hollywood celebrity. She craves privacy and has chosen a life far from the flashing lights. Instead of a fancy high-rise apartment, she prefers a peaceful mountain home surrounded by nature. This calm setting is perfect for Lisa. She walks barefoot around her house, enjoying the quiet and solitude. In an interview, she admitted her preference for seclusion is partly due to her Scorpio nature and loner personality. Who knew she was into astrology as well? Lisa has created a life that allows her to relax, recharge, and be herself, and that's something extraordinary. Lisa Bonet's Other Talents While she might not be on screen as often these days, that doesn't mean she's slowing down. Acting may have been her path in the past, but in a magazine interview, she admitted it's not her passion. Instead, Lisa is setting her sights on directing. She has a whole idea box of projects she wants to work on, from movies to children's television shows, and even a documentary. This creative spirit is looking for a new outlet. And who knows, maybe she can be even more successful in another field. Because here's the thing, her talents extend far beyond entertainment. She's a dedicated activist who fights for environmental causes. The Natural Resources Defense Council has long had Lisa's support, and she actively promotes sustainable living. Her passion for helping others goes beyond the environment. She also works with Operation Venice Heart, a nonprofit organization that supports troubled incarcerated youth in Los Angeles. So even though Bonet might be taking a break from Hollywood, it's clear she's an artist at heart who is using her talents to impact the world positively. We can't wait to see her next moves. And there's another secret talent that Lisa Bonet has. What could that be? Stay tuned to find out. Co-writing Kravitz's songs. Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz were rising stars when they met in the late 80s. 
They were only married for six years, but their relationship was a significant time for both. Bonet was already well known for her work on The Cosby Show and A Different World, while Kravitz was writing his music. He landed his first record deal a year after their relationship began, and Bonet even contributed to his first album by co-writing a few songs. Although they divorced in 1993, the two worked through their problems and have remained good friends ever since. As Bonet told Porter Magazine, staying on good terms was an effort they both made for their daughter, Zoe. She didn't want to pass on the wounds of divorce. She explained, I didn't want to pass on those heirlooms and this fresh wound of a divorce. Bonet also credited Kravitz with helping her grow, saying, he helped to bring out the best in me. From lovebirds to co-parenting partners, Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz have proven that a strong friendship can blossom even after a romantic relationship ends. Their dedication to their daughter is truly inspiring. Next, we will reveal three songs you didn't know were written by Lisa Bonet. One of the tracks she wrote for Kravitz's debut album, Let Love Rule, was the powerful song Fear. This deep track tackles environmental issues head on. Another song, Rosemary, has a gentle acoustic melody and harmonica touches. It tells the heartbreaking story of a young girl named Rosemary who's been abandoned. The lyrics paint a vivid picture of hardship, but offer a glimmer of hope with the repeated line, keep the faith in your soul. Lisa Bonet's songwriting talents weren't limited to Kravitz's music. She showed her versatility by collaborating with artists like Chris Kelly, Jermaine Dupri, Shante Harris, and rapper DeBrat. Lisa co-wrote a song for DeBrat's debut album, Functified, this song was a major hit and became Dabrat's signature anthem. The lyrics are full of confidence and female empowerment, perfectly matching Dabrat's rapping style. The song even made history as part of the first platinum-selling album by a solo female rapper. Bonet has proved to be a talented artist who can write powerful messages across different styles of music. Marriage with Momoa Quite a while after her divorce, Lisa Bonet found love again in the mid-2000s with actor Jason Momoa. They met in 2005 and welcomed their first child together in 2007, followed by their second in December 2008. They married in 2017 but announced their separation in January 2022. Though both were actors, they only worked together once, co-starring in the 2014 film Road to Paloma. Momoa also served as a writer, producer, and director for the movie. When asked if they enjoyed working together, Momoa told Indian Country Today, Yes, but it's also nerve-wracking because your love is there. But at the same time, it's a dream come true to work with her. He referred to her as a queen, showing his deep admiration. Their story dates back to 1987, when a young Jason saw Lisa on The Cosby Show and fell in love. Years later, their paths finally crossed in real life. In an interview with James Corden, Momoa jokingly called that childhood crush the moment he knew he wanted to be with Lisa. He even told Esquire magazine that marrying her made him feel like anything was possible. In 2005, they met at a Los Angeles jazz club. Lisa, divorced from Lenny Kravitz and mother to Zoe, met a starstruck Momoa. He described the experience on The Late Late Show as having fireworks go off inside. Despite living out of a hotel then, he convinced Lisa to give him a ride home. Their first hangout included a stop at a late-night coffee shop where Lisa's order of Guinness and Grits won Jason over. In a men's health interview, he later admitted, I couldn't believe I was with a woman who ordered a Guinness. I loved it. This chance encounter marked the beginning of their love story. It's a sweet meet-cute filled with a touch of fate and quirky charm thanks to Lisa's unique late-night craving. Fired for pregnancy. Fans of the show were left shocked when Lisa Bonet was fired from A Different World in 1988 after only one season. While at first she described it as an opportunity to work with new people and try new things, the real reason behind her departure was more complex. Lisa had recently married and was expecting her first child. Now, Debbie Allen, the show's producer, knew Bonet was pregnant. She liked the idea of Bonet's character, Denise Huxtable, raising a child as a single mother. However, the show's creator, Bill Cosby, disagreed. He believed a pregnant Denise wouldn't fit the character or the show's direction. He even told Lisa that, Lisa Bonet is pregnant, but Denise Huxtable is not. This decision led to Lisa's exit from the series. Despite this setback, Lisa never let it suppress her spirit. Even after all these years, and with an impressive career and family life, 
she admits she is still on a journey of self-discovery. Lisa spoke about learning how to be authentically herself and following an invitation from the universe to step into the river of uncertainty. Her openness to growth and transformation is a powerful reminder that self-discovery is a lifelong process. It's inspiring to see Lisa Bonet embrace change and prioritize her well-being. The dread and identity crisis. Lisa Bonet's long dreadlocks are as famous as she is. Since the late 1980s, they've been her signature hairstyle. She told the New York Times in 2016, I've had my hair in dreadlocks for a long time. It's probably been 20-something years now. She decided to stick with dreads because the process of keeping her hair from knotting up typically involves spending a large amount of time in a salon, which she had little patience for. For Lisa, it's all about practicality and self-expression. She admitted disliking the time commitment of maintaining other styles, and dreadlocks offered a low-maintenance solution. For Lisa, the dreads are more than just a lifestyle. They symbolize her confidence and individuality. She embraces her unique style and doesn't hesitate to educate others about it. She also admitted that she found other people's ignorance of dreadlocks to be funny to her. She told the New York Times that it's hilarious when people who don't know about dreads wonder whether you wash your hair or not. Now let's talk about her problems with her identity. Growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood wasn't always easy for Lisa Bonet, who is multiracial. In a 1987 interview with the Washington Post, Bonet talked about her upbringing, saying, I grew up in a little white neighborhood on the wrong side of the tracks. She experienced confusion about where she fit in, as she was both black and white. Bonet recalled, It was really weird because the black kids would call me Oreo, and I just didn't feel totally at home and accepted with all these white rich people. Feeling caught between two cultures and accepted by neither, she found herself extremely confused about her identity. She said, I had just a whole identity crisis because I had no idea where I belonged in life. It's a long, long journey. However, Lisa found an outlet for self-discovery through acting. Although at first she was hesitant due to her shyness, she attended an acting class with a friend. What started as a way to fill time turned into a life-changing experience. Acting allowed her to overcome those feelings and embrace herself for who she was. She shared, I went and the people were just so much fun that I went back. Her journey of self-acceptance highlights her resilience and shows how powerful artistic expression can be in transforming one's life. The controversy surrounding Bill Cosby. In late 2014, multiple allegations emerged that Bill Cosby had sexually assaulted dozens of women throughout his career. There had been previous allegations against Cosby, but they were dismissed and accusers were ignored. Cosby was accused by over 60 women of rape, drug-facilitated sexual assault, sexual battery, child sexual abuse, and sexual harassment. Most of the alleged acts fell outside the statute of limitations for criminal legal proceedings, but criminal charges were filed against Cosby in one case, and civil lawsuits were brought against him. Cosby's first trial in June 2017 ended in a mistrial. Cosby was found guilty of three counts of aggravated indecent assault at retrial in 2018 and was sentenced to three to ten years in state prison. In 2021, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court found that an agreement with a previous prosecutor, Bruce Castor, prevented Cosby from being charged in the case and overruled the conviction. So he's out of prison, but his reputation has been tarnished forever. In a 2015 interview with The Guardian, Zoe Kravitz revealed that her mother, Lisa Bonet, chose to remain silent about the Cosby scandal. Bonet said she was unaware of Cosby's specific actions, but sensed negative energy around him. Despite their public conflicts, Bonet refrained from making explicit statements, leaving matters to karma and justice. In 2018, Zoe Kravitz spoke about Cosby in an interview with Quarter Magazine. Kravitz admitted she had an intuitive feeling that something was amiss. She stated, I don't need to say, I told you so, I just leave all that to karma and justice and what will be. While we've spent quite some time talking about Lisa's daughter Zoe, we haven't exactly spent any time talking about the rest of her kids. You know, the ones she had with Momoa, Lisa, and Jason Momoa's kids. Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet may have separated, but they will always consider each other family. They welcomed their first child, daughter Lola Yolani 
in July 2007. Their second child, son Nakoa Wolf, was born in December 2008. During both pregnancies, Bonet and Momoa chose not to find out the sex of the baby, preferring to keep it a surprise. Bonet explained, I love the mystery, and I trust the mystery about it. It adds a whole other component at the end. After 12 years and two children together, the couple secretly married in October 2017. Momoa admired Bonet's dedication to motherhood, calling it her ultimate art form. He expressed his love for his children, saying, It's real love. Seeing them grow, learning from them, teaching them, it's just the greatest thing in the world. Despite their separation in January 2022, Momoa showed support for Bonet's daughter Zoe by attending the Batman premiere in February 2022. Although his appearance sparked rumors of a reconciliation, Momoa clarified, We're not back together. We're family. We have two beautiful children together. Lola Iolani Momoa was born on July 21, 2007. Momoa, who is Hawaiian, chose her middle name, Iolani, which means Royal Hawk. Momoa nearly missed her birth while filming in Canada, but managed to arrive just in time. He has shared his emotions about being a father, including his fears about Lola dating. He admires his stepdaughter, Zoe, and hopes Lola grows up to be as talented and loving. Lola joined her father at the New York City premiere of The Batman in 2022. Momoa mentioned that Lola is a big fan of the sitcom Friends. Nakoa Wolf, also known as Wolfie, was born on December 15, 2008. His name reflects Momoa's Hawaiian heritage, with Nakoa meaning warrior. And his first middle name, Manakawapo, refers to the dark and rainy conditions when he was born. His second middle name, Namakaiha, is also Momoa's middle name. Momoa has shared that growing up without a father influenced his approach to parenting. He starred in the film Dune and included a special martial arts move, a signal to his son, in the movie. While we've talked quite a lot about her relationship with Jason Momoa, we haven't quite talked about why the pair ended up divorcing each other, why Lisa's divorce from Momoa happened. Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet's breakup surprised fans, but a source told people the decision didn't happen overnight. The couple announced their split after nearly 17 years together and five years of marriage. According to a source close to Bonet, they were amazing for years until they no longer were. The source explained that the couple grew apart due to different focuses. Momoa's career has been booming and he wants to work as much as possible, while Bonet prefers to stay in LA and has no interest in joining Momoa in every location. The distance between them took a toll on their relationship. For some people, it might strengthen their marriage. For Lisa and Jason, being apart has been a disaster, the source said. Despite the separation, both Momoa and Bonet are committed to keeping peace for the sake of their children, Nakoa Wolf and Lola. It's not going to be a scandalous divorce where they trash talk each other, the source said. They are both very spiritual and believe in a higher power. Momoa shared the news of their split in a now-deleted Instagram post. We have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times, the joint statement read. And so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. He also said that the couple was sharing this not because they think it's newsworthy, but so that as they go about their lives, they may do so with dignity and honesty. And guess who's out there hoping that Lisa Bonet might end up with him again? Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz confesses his love for Liss, Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet have maintained a strong bond since their divorce in 1993. The rock star, 59, talked about his relationship with Bonet, 56, and their 35-year-old daughter, Zoe Kravitz, in an interview with People magazine. I am what I am because of our experience, because of everything that I was, everything that she was, and everything that came together, Kravitz said. He also said that he was married to the most beautiful woman on the planet, incredible inside and out. He says that he regrets not paying attention to the marriage, but rather paying attention to his career. He added, we were quite the family. We had our groove, expression, fashion. It was a beautiful time. The world Zoe's mom and I were creating, our family. It was about peace, love, and spirit. After their marriage ended, they worked to keep their bond strong. Love doesn't leave you, but it has to find a new way to funnel itself into a new life. Kravitz explained. He consciously wanted to do that. It took time, 
but she is a part of his life that will never leave his heart, his soul, or his spirit. He is what he is because of their experience. Could we maybe see the two of them get back together? Now let's talk about some random fun facts about the actress. Random fun facts. Lisa Bonet's unique blend of charisma, talent, and individuality has given rise to what is now known as the Lisa Bonet effect. Many aspiring actors and actresses strive to emulate her captivating presence and style. She has a passion for painting, photography, and writing, often using these mediums as a means of self-expression. Her rebellious nature has often been part of her charm. She is unafraid to push boundaries and challenge societal norms, both in her personal and professional life. Bonet's nurturing spirit extends beyond her immediate family. She is actively involved in various charitable initiatives, focusing on providing support and resources to underprivileged communities. Lisa Bonet has used her platform to amplify important social issues. She is a vocal advocate for racial equality, gender empowerment, and justice reform. One of her enduring qualities is her unwavering self-confidence. Her belief in herself and her abilities has allowed her to overcome challenges and establish a successful career in the entertainment industry. Bonet emphasizes the importance of self-care and mental well-being. She practices yoga, meditation, and other self-care techniques to maintain a balanced and healthy lifestyle. With her distinctive style and unique personality, Bonet has become a cultural icon. Her influence can be seen in fashion trends, art, and even in the way modern filmmakers portray strong and independent female characters. Throughout her career, Bonet has continued to challenge herself creatively. She consistently seeks new and diverse roles that allow her to showcase her range as an actress. The impact of Lisa Bonet on pop culture cannot be overstated. Her memorable performances and individuality have carved out a special place for her in the hearts of both fans and fellow celebrities. Bonet is an ardent supporter of female empowerment. She encourages women to embrace their uniqueness, pursue their dreams, and be unapologetically themselves. Her talent has not gone unnoticed. She has been recognized with numerous awards and nominations throughout her career, solidifying her status as a respected and admired actress. In addition to her roles on screen, Bonet has also demonstrated her talent on stage, appearing in various theater productions and captivating audiences with her live performances. Her magnetic presence and trailblazing spirit have inspired countless individuals to embrace their true selves and pursue their passions fearlessly. Lisa Bonet has had the privilege of collaborating with some of the most renowned filmmakers and actors in the industry. Her ability to seamlessly integrate into different creative teams speaks to her professionalism and adaptability. With her natural beauty and effortless grace, Bonet has challenged traditional beauty standards and paved the way for a more inclusive and diverse representation in the entertainment industry. Even decades after her breakthrough role in The Cosby Show, Bonet remains culturally relevant. Her influence can be seen in the continued discussions surrounding representation and diversity in the entertainment industry. She has been a champion for diversity and inclusivity in Hollywood. She understands the importance of representation and actively supports initiatives that promote equality both on and off screen. As a working mother and actress, Bonet has successfully navigated the demands of her career while prioritizing her family. She serves as a role model for women striving to find the balance between their personal and professional lives. Bonet's performances have often resonated with audiences, as she has a remarkable ability to portray characters with depth and authenticity. With her recent appearances in critically acclaimed television shows and films, Bonet has experienced a resurgence in popularity. Audiences are rediscovering her talent and appreciating her contributions to the entertainment industry. She encourages self-expression and the exploration of one's creativity. Bonet believes in the power of art to heal, transform, and connect individuals on a deeper level. Her fashion choices have become iconic moments in pop culture history. Her fearless approach to style has made her a fashion icon, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Lisa has played a significant role in breaking cultural boundaries and challenging stereotypes. Her portrayal of diverse characters has paved the way for a more inclusive and representative entertainment landscape. Her influence transcends generations. She continues to inspire new generations of actors, artists, and activists to pursue their passions and make a positive difference in the world. Bonet has always marched to the beat of her drum, 
Her independent spirit and refusal to conform have made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Bonet believes in using her platform to amplify the voices of those who are often silenced. Throughout her career, she has shattered barriers and opened doors for future generations of actors. Her contributions to the industry have helped pave the way for more diverse and inclusive storytelling. Lisa Bonet's passion for her craft is strong. Her dedication to her art and commitment to storytelling shines through in every role. Bonet's ability to convey empathy and compassion makes her a favorite among audiences. Her characters connect deeply with viewers. Lisa Bonet's talent is timeless. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will always be celebrated, inspiring future generations of actors. Bonet's journey as an actress and her strong commitment to positive change has made her a Hollywood icon. From her breakout role in The Cosby Show to her powerful performances in film and TV, she has made a lasting impact on the industry. Other than The Cosby Show, Lisa Bonet appeared in the psychological horror film Angel Heart, earning a Saturn Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. She also starred in the action thriller Enemy of the State, the comedy drama High Fidelity, the action drama Biker Boys, and the thriller Road to Paloma. Bonet has worked in TV, with roles such as Maya Daniels in Life on Mars and Marisol on Ray Donovan 2016. Her unique style, advocacy work, and dedication to her craft inspire both artists and fans. With each role, Bonet continues to captivate audiences and break barriers, proving she is not just a talented actress, but a significant force in the industry. So what do you think about Lisa Bonet's story? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel.